So in this video we'll be looking at the proof of formula 2, or trig identity 2, which is the sine rule, which states a over sine a is equal to b over sine b, which is equal to c over sine c. So there is a second version of this video, um, which is the next video on the playlist. It is the same, it's, it is the proof of the sine rule, but in a different method. I'd highly recommend using this video. This is a lot shorter, but if your teacher wants you to use the other method, that's fine. Just uh, click on to the next video then. So in this one, the things that you really need to know is that you need a triangle ABC and that you're use, gonna use the for area formula twice. When drawing out your triangle, make sure that the angle and the points of the triangle get capitals, capitals, and capitals whereas the sides always get small letters. And the angle opposite side A is angle A, and the side opposite angle B is side B, and the side opposite angle C is side C. So the area of a triangle formula is a half A, B, sine C. Some of it, you'll know that is it's a half of a side by a side by the sine of the angle in the middle. So it's A, B, A, B, A, B, the sine of the angle in the middle, or it would be a half B, C, B, C, by the sine of the angle in the middle. Or you could also do C, A, and it would be sine B. You only have to do two of them. So I'm doing a half A, B, sine C, and a half B, C, sine A. But it's the same triangle, so the area must be equal. So half a b sine c must equal to a half b c sine a keep in mind we want to aim for something like this is equal to that that's what we're trying to get to now so the first thing we do is multiply both sides by two which would get rid of the halves then we divide both sides by b And now I remember that I want the side A to be on top. I want the side A to be on top. So the only way to get to that would be to divide by sine of A. And then I want the side C to be on top. And the only way to get to that would be to divide by the sine of C. And that's the proof done. I've gone and proved that A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. So that is what I've proved. But how do we deal with this bit in the middle? Well, very simply, we just say, similarly, similarly, A over sine A would equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. And that's the proof done. So as I said, there is another proof, which is here, and that's the alternative method, which looks an awful lot more complicated. But if you want to go with this alternative method, you should go and click on to the next video now. Hopefully that's helped you anyways.